data non-citizen students. It's a bill that would require our school systems to collect data on the immigration status of their students. Um, he sells this as, a, as simply a data collection effort. It's not a data collection effort. What it really is is an effort to scare uh, uh, families who, who, who may not have a, a documentation status who are taking their kids to school. It's to scare them to show them that you're gonna have to report to us, you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take out your information, and we're gonna send this information to the government. So that's what this, that's what this does, and it's, it's a scary effort, but it's one that he's pushed for many, many years, and he's still pushing this here. A very similar one is House Bill 2293. He's doing the same things with hospitals. If you go to a hospital emergency room, they're gonna require the hospital personnel to take note of your doc documentation status and report it to the government. And he said, he, again, he sells this as simply collecting data. Uh, again, uh, is it really collecting data or is it discouraging people from seeking the medical attention that they need? Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys decide that one. Um, but so, so you've got those, those few bills that, uh, that are quite clearly and obviously anti-immigrant and, and, and attacking, uh, attacking the Latino community. Um, he, we just heard one in my community uh, a couple weeks ago that would, that would uh, prohibit the state government from, pr from printing any documents in any languages other than English. And this is any documents from anything, whether it's, from a, from, whether it's about uh, health benefits, whether it's about health services that are available to you. If you want those uh, documents uh, in, in, in Spanish or in any other language, you have to go online to get them or you have to go to the one printed copy which will be held at the government office. Uh, so these are these are efforts that they're making. But aside from those obvious measures, what I think the shift has gone now has 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 gone towards now in, at the legislature is to attack the power, the, the 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 voice of the Latino community now. And they're doing that in two specific ways. One, and I think that was going to talk a little bit about this too, is by attacking our our our, our election statutes, uh, attack, attacking uh, the the our, our voting statutes. Um, they're going to make it more. They see what, what what these groups have done by registering voters and by turning out those voters. So the obvious uh, answer to that: let's make it more difficult to register voters. Let's make it more difficult to turn out voters. Let's put restrictions. Let's kick people off of the permanent permanent early ballot list if they did not, if they fail to vote in either the primary or the general in the last election. Uh, uh, let's. Let's require, if anyone wants to get onto the permanent early voter list, they have to have that, that, uh, that uh, form notarized. Uh, and, and there are lots of other efforts that they're being taken to, to, to hurt uh, your voting power, basically. So the, the voting power and, and, and the elections is a big issue. And the last one that I'll mention is they're attacking, they're attacking labor, they're attacking unions. Um, and the reason they're doing that is because this is where a lot of the funding comes from in order to, to uh, to turn out these voters, in order to, to pay for the volunteers that are out registering voters, turning them out, and at the end of the day, these are working families who who are, are speaking through their unions uh, in state government, and so there's a huge effort to curtail that. And those bills are are, are moving strong, and, and and they're still they're still moving forward. But uh, to close out, I will say that there is some hope. Um, we do have a different legislature now than we did in the past two years. It is more moderate. And, uh, and, and there is some hope that we can, we can convince a lot of these bills to be, to be killed. And uh, I am, for one, working hard to do that for you guys. So thank you.